this episode of Research and Recovery, Ashley is going to show us how to preserve old paper documents. We'll also head up to Waxhaw, North Carolina for the Battle of Wilson's Store Civil War reenactment. But first, Brian and I head out to the woods to do some scouting and come across some nice relics. Me and Ian were walking down this valley here in the background you see, following this creek that runs to a spring. Dug a quite a few shotgun shells in this vicinity here and finally dug a good target. I just pulled a general service button right here and about three inches deep. Looks like there's a little bit of gild on it maybe left. Um, it's pretty flattened, but I'll take it. This is what we're looking for. And Hopefully there's more around here. All right, so we're coming up the hill a little bit with the creek in the foreground back there. And um, we've been kind of paralleling this little valley that we're going through. And Brian's been finding a couple of round balls up there on the hill over there. And also, I just found a nice little knapsack J hook there. That's the first one of those I've ever found. And found it right here, just right now cool stuff. We'll keep going and uh, we're going to keep following this little valley and uh, hopefully we might be on the outer rim of a, a camp maybe. So It's a huge shot in the dark for today. Um, we came out here, no maps, no research. Uh, just to, Brian had an inclination that because of this creek right here and where the valley's kind of sloped in at, uh, that there might be some sort of activity here. So um, And this proves there was. So we're going to keep going. We're still hunting this area around the creek, uh, kind of where the hills slope down and form like a valley. And uh, I was kind of backtracking a little bit, and I found uh, where I had found that knapsack hook. I got another nice little signal on my VDI, and lo and behold, it's a general service button. But if you notice, it's broken. So what we're going to have to do is be very careful with that, preserve it best we can. And it's just basically a general service button there, uh, eagle button. So pretty good find. First button of the day for me. All right, we're kind of stopping for the day, or stopping for just take a break right now, not stopping for the day, but. I had to empty out our pockets. We've got tons of horseshoes and uh, we had to come back and get some water, but here's some of the horseshoes that we've gotten so far. Of course, some 12th Georges there. But Brian's actually got Brian's actually got a uh, pretty nice find down here. He's going to recover it right now. Um, and uh, we'll uh, show you what it is after this quick break. Predator Tools, the highest quality digging tool hand-built by George Leshy. Each tool is created from aircraft-grade steel and is heat-treated and tempered, making it the highest quality available. Predator Tools are designed for the serious treasure hunters, landscapers, and gardeners who want to dig fast and easy. Don't settle for the cheap imitations that can bend and break. Demand the best. Demand Predator Tools. You can call us at 1-856-455. 3790 or you can visit us on the web at predatortools.com. <laughs> Don't be making fun of the Barbie camera, man. As, Brian, long, as long as it takes pictures of relics, I don't care what color it is. That's right. I got a good high VDI number here in the ground, and I kicked away the leaves, and I seen something that looked kind of familiar to me. 
Um, if you look down here, got a nice spur almost right on top of the ground. Just right under the leaves. All right. I'm gonna get out of the way and let Let's you let me try to get it out of here. Let you try and get it out of here without and this soil is very rocky and there's a root there. <laughs> Looks good so far. Yeah. Oh, is it broke right there? Oh, no. I'm gonna try to gently do this. Yeah, I don't want to damage it as much as in case it's intact still. wonder if this is the reason why the guy left it here because he couldn't get it out. <laughs> Stuck under this root. <laughs> There's a root right under it. You think it's bent underneath that root there? I'm hoping. It's broke. Dang it. Still a good find though. Partial spur. Yeah, it's been broke for a while. Now, wait a minute. Okay, so it's not the same thing that you just found. No, I found a small piece of brass. Just not far from here, but it's not part of it. I'm gonna hope this missing piece is in this hole here. Or it may have just been discarded because it was broke. I don't believe it's gonna be. No, I don't think so. That's a pretty unique looking spur though. I mean, it's uh Yeah, I'm not in my, Don't know my spurs too well. The rowel's gone as you can see. But still I'm very happy with it. It's a good relic. Not bad for a shot in the dark kind of day. <laughs> no, it's not. American Digger Magazine, promoting responsible excavation and collecting of all artifacts relating to America. Each issue highlights recent finds, news and reviews of products, and tips and tricks. To order your CDs and magazine subscriptions, give us a call or head over to AmericanDigger.com. American Digger Magazine, the only magazine for diggers and collectors of America's heritage. Portions of Sherman's Army were moving from Columbia, South Carolina to Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is the very end of the war. Um, it's March 1st of 1865. The Confederacy under Lee, uh, the main portion of the Confederate Army, is going to surrender in less than 45 days under General Lee. What we're out here doing today is we're reenacting the Battle of Wilson's Store. It's a little known event. It's uh, strategically unimportant in the war, uh, but it was a, a time when Confederates came and defended this area of Union and Anson counties. The, the Confederates actually gave chase to the Federals uh, 